Hello students in this module we will learn about rocks and minerals let's begin this is the introduction of the chapter and also the concept of rocks so the first point is lithosphere is often considered as rock sphere and you know the reason children the answer is that the lithosphere is made up of rocks and that's why it is known as rock sphere now the second point a rock is any naturally occurring solid mass or aggregate of mineral matter so this means that a rock occurs naturally it's a part of nature and it has uh, several minerals a rock can be having a single mineral or more or two or more than two minerals and you know what rocks often have organic matter in them so uh, according to which category we divide the rocks so rocks are of different types so what is the basis to categorize them the basis is the minerals included the chemical composition and the way in which it is formed so these are the uh, aspects according to which we categorize rocks into different category the mineral included the first one is the minerals included this means which minerals have made this rock which are the minerals that are contained in a particular rock so every rock has different minerals so this is how they are different the second point which is the chemical composition so every rock has a different chemical composition this means every rock has different minerals so definitely their chemical composition would vary now the way in which it is formed so different rocks are formed in a different way the process of formation of different rocks are different different from each other so these are the three bases on which rocks are categorized now if the rocks are categorized the three major groups are igneous rocks metamorphic rocks and the sedimentary rocks so children uh, this is the concept of rocks now let's move to the concept of minerals What? they are naturally occurring solid inorganic substances now children if you remember i told you rocks contain organic substances but in case of minerals they are inorganic substances that have their definite chemical composition and physical properties now this is the definition of minerals that they also occur naturally like rocks but unlike rocks have organic matter minerals have inorganic substances they are actually inorganic substances and they have a definite chemical and physical properties whereas rocks they do not have any fixed uh, chemical and physical properties now the second point is actually supporting the first point the second point says that minerals are homogeneous in their composition homogeneous means they have a definite chemical composition and physical properties now the third point most common rock forming minerals are silicates so what are silicates they are a combination of oxygen and silicon you know children oxygen and silicon are the two elements that are found extensively on the earth maximum is silicon and then is oxygen oxygen and silicon make up 75% of the earth's crust so just now i had told you that these two elements are found most extensively on the earth's crust and apart from oxygen and silicon the other elements are aluminum iron calcium and sodium now children this is the concept of rocks and minerals i have also told you the difference now we'll come to the concept of ore this is actually related to the concept of rocks and minerals and that's why i would like to discuss see there are some rocks which contain valuable minerals valuable means they have a market value they are economically very important so example i have given here is of iron ore you know iron is of such a lot of use almost for every second thing we use iron there are most of the things are made up of iron like automobile like houses and all everywhere uh, there is requirement of iron so iron is not found in its purest form but it is in the rocks so we take out the pure uh, we take the rock 
and we call it iron ore and from that rock we take out the pure iron and separate the impurities so when the iron pure iron is within the rock then it is known as iron ore the difference between a rock and a mineral the answer is a mineral is a naturally occurring inorganic solid with a definite chemical composition and a crystalline structure formed by geological processes so here the geological process means the processes that take place in the on the earth's crust the natural process due to which everything is formed naturally on the planet whereas a rock is an aggregate of one or more minerals and a rock may also include organic remains and minerals so i told you that even uh, sometimes the rocks they have organic remains whereas minerals are naturally occurring in organic solid so i hope you have understood let like, next move to the uh, next question that is the next point a mineral is a chemical substance made up of one or more chemicals having a definite crystal structure means definite chemical and physical properties whereas rocks do not have a def definite chemical composition whereas minerals do so this is again a difference between these two third point sometimes a rock may contain organic remain in it a mineral on the other hand will never have any organic material present within it so children these are the differences between rocks and minerals thank you students